We're live in Athens, Ohio, near the Hocking River for what should be a great college football game. Wake Forest is lined up. For Wake the Forest will be kicking off, Wake and you can just turn. feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. He's tackled at the 20. you but this one feels like it's going to be a great ball game here's the option and he's taken down around the 28 yard line the option left brought down at the 44 that's good for a game of nine yards let's see how the defense handles the no huddle complete there for about five yards and a first down and they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive big running the option so he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. He really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier. the stop at the 49 yard line nothing going on that play well here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket that way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it the 49 yard line third down stays in bounds and made a nice 
catch. You know, the wide receiver here does a good job of running a nice route, but I think it's the concentration of what he did at the end of the route that made the difference. He felt the coverage. He knew that he had a man on him, but he's able to keep the defender away from the football and go up and make a nice catch. Here's the eighth play of the series. Vic, the ball carrier, brought down after a nice run up the middle. Might change the play here before the snap. He's taken down to the 26 yard line. For a sack on the play. Loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. Here's the 12th play of the drive. it up again on third down. It's fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Defense comes out in a 4-4. They need a big play here. Here's the fullback touchdown. So it's the big hoss on the score. And I think the fullbacks deserve to get some of the spotlight. They're always out there working hard for everybody else. They're like a glorified offensive lineman. They never get any recognition. And he hits the PAT. Yeah. 
They line up to kick this one away. He boots it deep downfield. He's to the 10. He's taken down at the 14-yard line. Start this drive at the 14. And down he goes at about the 15 yard line. from their own 15-yard line. Second down. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 47. Great play for the offense and a great call by the offense, but the defense has to change things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. And they'll go with a no huddle. right around the 46 yard line and they'll lose a yard there really they just had nowhere to go after the catch second and ten ball on their own 46 Drops back to pass. He's going to air it long. This one will fall incomplete. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment and a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. It's absolutely deafening down there. Way to look it in. I'm sure the defense thought he came up short. You know, sometimes the officials' judgments can have a big impact on a game. First and ten. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. They might be coming here. He's gobbled up in the backfield. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 43. Handoff inside. Gets out to around the 35. House gains eight yards on that play. We've played one quarter. The Bobcats in front, 7-0.
So we're looking at another third down here. And this place is rocking. They have to watch the play clock here. They'll call a timeout here to avoid a delay of game penalty. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll work with him again, and he's got room to operate. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They've got a solid drive going here, but I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. From the 28-yard line, first down. Another handoff, and look out. Gets out to around the 15. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From the 15-yard line, first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. House picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 11. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That brings up second and goal. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Hands off to the back, and he's in. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Penn has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 27-yard line. They'll go to work at the 27. They go to the ground game, and they got him for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Quick out to his receiver. And he 
and he's taken down at the 31-yard line. Oh, picks up seven yards with that catch. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 31. They're calling an audible. Brought down around the 43-yard line. Well, that's a big-time play there. And as a quarterback, you're willing to take certain chances with certain wide receivers. This, you're not going to put the ball into coverage like that very often. But if you have confidence and trust and you've worked out a lot with that wide receiver, you know what his abilities are and you know that you have confidence and he's going to be able to come down regardless of putting it up in traffic, you're willing to take that chance. And that time, it's exactly what we saw. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. They'll go with the option. And he's tackled at the 45. As we've seen before, they go with a hurry-up offense. Up the middle for a nice game. Guys, when we were in practice this week, you kind of got the feeling that they might run a little no huddle. In fact, here it comes. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination again. the option he makes it to the 42 yard line he takes the option pitch and gets two maybe three yards and this play is number eight on the drive Looks like they're going to change it up here. He's got the corner. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. He got right in there and popped the ball carrier. This senior just doesn't back down from anyone. Six-yard line. No gain on the play. That'll make it 35. This is the 12th play of the drive. They're changing the play. Oh, 
Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. First and ten. Ball on the ten. That could be a check with me right there. Here's the option. And he's tackled after positive yardage. About five yards on the quarterback keeper. Demon Deacons on this call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Second down, five to go. Five yards to the goal line. Short throw over the middle, and it's picked off. He's got an opening. He may take it. Touchdown, Wake Forest. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. And he tacks on the extra point. Wake Forest to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. The offense will start at the 26. Try to change the play. He wants it all going long. He goes up and gets it. Boy, this is a huge play by the offense, and I got to go back to what the defense dialed up. They brought pressure, which means the offensive line's got to do a good job of communicating to give the quarterback enough time to be able to make the throw. And they did exactly that. They protected him, gave him the time that he needed, and he was able to take advantage of it. He's changing things up. Throws, and it's knocked away. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. From the 35-yard line, second down. He may have changed things up here. There's a bullet over the middle. They'll bring him down at about the 17-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From the 17-yard line, first down. They're in the red zone, so this quarterback better be smart. Last time, he threw a pick down here. Gets it out quickly. The 10. Touchdown, Bobcats. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. Ohio. 
lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 10. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. They'll take over at the 19-yard line. Appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. They go option right. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Tackle around the 28-yard line. Wake Forest's called their final timeout. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. There's a play fake. Now he's scrambling. He's to the 40. Decides to slide. Gain of 26 yards. First down. So we've played two quarters. We're deadlocked right now at 14. Ohio A very Ohio tight game off. here as we open up the second Sims half. We'll see which team can open up a little lead in this one. He hits a booming kick. He's to the 10. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. They'll start at the 24. Right side with the option. And down he goes around the 24-yard line. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. He's looking to pass. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. They'll run the option. He's at the 20. Touchdown, Ohio! That did more than just put six points on the board. It takes a lot of pressure off the offensive coordinator when the man under center can show that he's a dual threat. Ohio up six. He makes the PAT. Everyone 
Hands all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 10. Whoa, he just took a licking. They'll set up shop at the 17. job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. They line up at the 13. Second down. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. Throws into coverage. Just picked off. Touchdown, OU. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Same Ross gets set to down. kick this one away. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Nice run up the middle. Game seven in play. That'll make it second and four. Couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From their own 31-yard line. Third down. The student section's going crazy. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. Gain of 10 yards. First down. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Brought down at about the 39 yard line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled at about the 49. Call it a gain of 12 yards. That'll bring up third and inches. 
Third down and short. Got to be hard to hear for the offense. This crowd is deafening. Fires out to his receiver. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First and ten. Ball on the 38. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Well, these days you've got safeties playing up close to the line of scrimmage, almost like a fourth linebacker. The only way that you can keep them from cheating up is to take some chances downfield. Second down at 12. Ball on the 40-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Three-yard gain by the halfback on the counterplay. Play number nine of this current drive. The 12th man is here to join the 11 on the field. This defense has really got the crowd into it. Back to pass. Nearly intercepted. So it's fourth down, and it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Makes the catch, and look out. Touchdown! That gives him the team's all-time mark for receiving yards. Good for him. He's always been a fierce competitor and a great talent, and every time he makes a catch, there's a chance he could do something big. And he converts the extra point. Penn looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22. Taking the field again now is the offense. And I got to tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. Ohio is up a score. Vic on the option left side. Makes it out to about the 33. three-yard line. It's first down. What? Option. Tackle made right around the 34. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Oh. 
Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 34 yard line. That could be a check with me right there. Option here. That's a great tackle at the 34. No game. Third down. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on the 34. Trying to confuse the defense here with the audible. And they make the stop around the 46 yard line. From their own 46 yard line. First down. Ohio up seven points. Looks like he might audible out of that play. Fires complete over the middle. And he's level at the 37. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Good play here and run support by the linebackers. The big guys up front took away the running lanes and he was able to get through for a loss. It's second and ten. Ball on the 37. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. That screen gets around six. That's three down and one to go. The Bobcats with a touchdown lead. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fires. Couldn't haul it in. The pass was incomplete. McCarthy was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Fourth down. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Ohio is up by a touchdown. Rose intercepted. No, he dropped it. What a boost it is for this defense, knowing that they kept the offense off the board. Although in this case, the offense kept itself off the board by electing to go for it. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Gives it to the back. Tackle right around the 40. 
brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he hits him hard at the 43. Gain of three on the play. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 43. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Gain of 12 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Misdirection handoff. He's knocked out of bounds at the 41. Reynolds gets about four yards on the play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. It's the tailback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Reynolds gets six yards on the carry. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. The crowd at a fever pitch right now, third and short. He gets out to about the 35-yard line, and the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard. And the offense is still on the field. Up the middle for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. First down. From the 29-yard line, first down. Counter left. He's at the 20, inside the 10. What a play. Knocked out of bounds, and it's going to be first and goal. A spectacular run. There was a lot of running room there. This defense may have nightmares tonight about this running back running all over them. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. And they hit him in the backfield. 
But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Brings up a second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. And down he goes, right around the four yard line. That makes it down a touchdown so this is an important play it's third and goal from the three they're crowding that line of scrimmage looks for the tight end but they can't hook up This is it. They need three yards for the touchdown here on fourth down. And he tackles him hard at the 11 yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Ohio is up seven. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. Tackled after a decent pickup. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. They line up at the seven. It's first down. Here's a running play. He gets out to about the nine yard line. That brings up second and 13. From their own nine yard line. It's second down. Looks like an option here. He's tackled at the six yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities.
It's third down and a long way to go. Ball on the six-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. They're calling an audible. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. He's out to the 30. Down the sideline. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. Perfect time to go with the screen. They were anticipating blitz, and once the receiver got past the initial trash, he had some good running room. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. from their own 45-yard line. It's second down. He may have changed things up here. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Third down again. Under a minute left in the game. They're changing the play. Looks to pass. He throws left. And that one's incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Ross is waiting for the snap. Well, they've got the ball back, but they're still trailing. Well, they're down a touchdown, and there is less than a minute left, so there's no time to waste. And this will be pretty much it for this offense. They need to capitalize on this possession. down around the 33 yard line great touch by the quarterback floating that one right into his hands that takes some skill that could be a check with me right there he goes downtown and that just might do it intercepted that's a great tackle at the 48 is up a score. What? Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Demon Deacons on this using their third and last timeout. Make it second and four.
So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Six to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. This one's in the books. The Bobcats come out on top. 28-21. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Wake Forest played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. Here's a look at our player of the game. EA Sports will donate $10,000 in his name to his school's general scholarship fund. For the Bobcats, they approved their record as 6-1 with today's win. And for the Demon Deacons, a crushing loss, and their shot at perfection ended today. So that's going to wrap things up for us. For EA Sports, Aaron Andrews and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks. We'll see you next time.